everyone hello everyone i think i'm live let's see i'm definitely live on twitch and i'm live on youtube thank you everyone for joining thank you thank you um so what are we going to talk about today um uh, i may miss some of your comments uh, so apologies for that i couldn't make it work so that i can see the all the comments from twitch and from youtube in one place i'm working on that honestly uh, make sure to like this video please in advance thank you i appreciate it it would help me improve my channel and spread the word about chess and um, engines and um, everything you enjoy about my channel to the world so I appreciate if you press a like button. So, today we are talking about AI engines. Uh, uh, we're gonna check two games, I think. Um, Stockfish Alice Time that you can see right now. I downloaded it from TCC Championship. And uh, I wouldn't actually pay too much attention to this game unless it was that uh, i'm not sure how to pronounce ali stein i guess is the name of the engine you can see the the eel it's like stockfish is almost the champion to 3796 and ali stein is not much weaker so like 30 points which is which is like nothing i would say so they are currently playing the tcc some eight 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 um, um, engines are playing each other and this is one of the games and stockfish won and i wouldn't pay too much attention to it but you may have seen my uh what, uh, caption i think that's what it's called um and um that uh, in one position the evaluation of stockfish was off over the roof like 100 percent win basically and all artificial intelligence engines including the engine that I really love myself, LC0, they were completely wrong about that. So uh, let me just show you the game first. And uh, so they were, I think the position they had to play were, was, let me see, until move 8. Yes, so 8 moves, they were uh, forced or asked, whatever you feel like. Um, and uh, uh, the like button in Twitch, I do not know how to respond. I'm still new to Twitch, Audible Audrey. I'm not sure how to help you. Please click on my... Uh, I didn't even put the link to YouTube channel. Okay, you can find me on YouTube and click like there. Thank you. All right. So uh, move eight. So they were asked to play this position. You can see that there are plenty of games like this. Uh, mostly Black was successful. Correspondence games like this decent position and they were play they were playing this position so i really enjoyed the way stockfish won this game check it out it, it actually leaves you with this feeling that maybe i could have played like this myself which is quite a misleading feeling but uh, uh hi adipa kari hi maj sarhan i'm not sure how to pronounce apologies white is who white is stockfish the latest version i'm guessing this is may 23rd version st at the start of the tournament and ali stein is a super super artificial intelligence uh, engine that were that were playing a few days ago so these are over the top like magnus would score literally zero against any of these engines so this is like over the top kind of chess that is that's why it is so fascinating to watch those guys uh, make mistakes so white played a5 actually stockfish in this game showed all the ideas of what do you need to do in Sicilian not all of them but a lot of uh, a lot of ideas so check it out a5 getting some space on the queen side f4 putting a pawn in the center rook to open file bishop back to e2 well the bishop was unprotected there uh, knight b4 was next move anyway so this is more like karpov style prophylactics knight b4 is coming and bishop just moved because it would have to move anyway so knight jump to b4 bishop developed to e3 queen b8 weird move in my opinion bishop e7 was better f5 now this rook is in the game bishop e7 f takes e um a asking with what do you take if black takes with the pawn there's very annoying check weakening the king side so black took with the bishop now it's time to move the knight back to the center 
it all looks very easy and very understandable i must say uh, castle king h1 another another typical useful move uh, in sicilian because well that diagonal for now it seems safe but uh, the knight will move eventually the bishop may move you don't want to run into into check last couple of weeks stockfish dev has had a bit of a jump in rating sam says oh, i did not know that thank you hi engineer engineer so king went to h1 Black moved back to c7, admitting that going back to b8 was a mistake. Knight jumps to f5, extraordinary typical for Sicilian. Takes, and now rook takes. Not the pawn, rook takes, white wants the f file. Knight back to c6, admitting that these two, like Black lost how many tempos here? Queen d2, it's time to develop the rook. Rook c to e8, rook a to f1. Well, I'm guessing knight, F5, knight a5, that's just a poisoned pawn. So black just played knight to e5, knight to the center, and now it's time for a really typical, really typical break right in the center. White takes on f6, black takes with the bishop, rook takes f6. Uh, well, white could have played this first, but it just leads to a transposition. So rook takes, pawn takes. By the way, amazing sacrifice, two exchanges down. If white didn't win back immediately all the material, that would be a fascinating example of typical, um, let's say, typical uh, Petrosian kind of sacrifice. But it's not that. Uh, it's not that. Knight went to d5, queen c8. That may look like a weird move. Why would you give up the pawn? And the reason I think is very simple. Queen d8, bishop goes to b6. Queen has to move. And now the queen is ready to go to h6. And that should lead to a very quick win. So the bishop left and the queen is ready to go. Check out what happened. Queen c8 takes, king h8, and now bishop d4. So white is two exchanges down for one pawn. But this knight is amazing, this bishop is great, queen h6 is coming. So black goes rook e6, which is like the only way to stop uh, the checkmate. Now takes, takes, king moves, queen takes d6, now white has already two pawns and two bishops for an exchange. So actually white already has material advantage, I would say. Oh, uh, why not queen takes c2, it just occurred to me. Why not queen takes c2, because queen takes e5, there's no back rank mate. Because I have bishop g1 and you don't have time to take the bishop because, of course, mate is coming. So queen c2 is not working. These guys do not blunder such simple tactics. Engineer Engineer says, I think you should see deep Fritz 15. Really? Against Stockfish, when Stockfish evaluate minus 2.8 and deep Fritz evaluation 0.06. I'm guessing Stockfish crushed, crushed uh, deep Fritz. I have, I never really used deep Fritz, but I just know it's just way weaker. Than, uh, than stockfish or any other yeah engine so uh i like to see the like really top-notch engines like lc0 and stockfish still making mistakes which shows how how difficult and rich this game of chess is that even these powerful engines with like i would show you the the speed with it it's like considering billions positions before it makes its move fritz is very weak yes i agree and they still make mistakes and lose the games or misevaluate the position. So let's just continue with the game. So the knight is hanging. Black goes f6. What else? You don't want to move it. White takes, takes. And now very important check first uh, to take on e5 with a check. And now rook to f6. Now white has bishop and three pawns for an exchange and it's white to move the rook is pinned from when i saw this one uh, that this was showing as the best line uh, to this position i thought that uh, well mm, white's advantage is decent but it should increase with time because very often engines even stockfish and lc0 underestimate they, they cannot calculate that far to figure out that the pawns would, pawns would start moving. So they do value more advanced pawns higher, but if the pawns are still on, on second rank, um, sometimes they have this flaw that they do not anticipate that the pawns would be moving very fast uh, in the future and there would be, that would be very difficult to stop them. Stockfish shows us his ability. That's true. That's a great game by Stockfish. Don't get your hopes high. I'm going to show the next game where LC0 just crushed Stockfish. All right. 
So uh, just a few checks and G3. So again, why not taking the pawn on C2? It must be something simple. Why not queen takes C2? What am I missing? Ooh, if queen C2, I think that's the one. Check, 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 and bishop to C4. This looks like a win to me because there is no defense from queen D8. Hold on, there is check and queen G5. Damn it. I, will, I need my bishop on C4 here. So I actually don't see uh, right now why the pawn on C2 was not hanging. Maybe you can help me with that. Yes, this is a stream. All right. So what did I blunder? Why not queen c2? I don't want to cheat with stockfish. I want to figure this one out myself. I need my bishop. There's no way I'm mating without that bishop. Yeah, I do not know. I think it has something to do with queen going to d4 and then bishop to c4. Yeah, I give up. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Apologies. Uh, let's see if I've got the right idea. Queen f8, queen f6, queen d8, queen d4. Everything correct. Okay, okay, okay. Bishop c4. It's all correct. Okay, so I did get the right feeling. And now, and now just nothing. White is just dominating. Interesting. b3. Oh my god. B4, B3, whatever. White is just dominating because black cannot unpin. Wow, that's that is difficult. And okay, this is very weak stockfish. So, but yeah, okay, I've got the right idea. But I thought it's something really primitive. It was not. It was not. This is not only lesson. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, so black went rook g7, white went queen b4, for the same reason black cannot take on c2, queen c6, queen back to d4. So white is materially up with a better queen, so white should, should win eventually. So that is basically the evaluation of, uh, of this position. That is basically what is, what is going on here. Um, white has more material and better pieces. So, and that was it. So I was thought, oh, that's fine. So now c3. Queen a5, okay, this was a shocker to me. Give up the pawn on a5. Why would you do that? I do not know. I do not have the answer to that question. But Stockfish knows. It says I move the bishop to c4 finally. I move it to d5 and I'm dominating. So I gave up a full pawn on a5 to move the bishop to a much better location. Now this x-ray, black is having a hard time developing pieces. Queen d7, king g1, small improvement. Queen e5, small improvement. Queen f6, improvement. Bishop goes to e6. Ah, and this is this is where the fun starts. So now I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna show you this. Uh, somewhere here, Stockfish was already giving like a decisive advantage. So check a few checks. King goes to f3. Ah, sorry, not yet. Bishop f5 is a huge threat. So black goes h5. Uh, why do you need h5? Wait a second. Why do you need h5 to free the queen? I guess. Yes. Somewhere here, Stockfish was giving a winning advantage already here. And all the engines, I'm going to show you that in a second, were giving all the other artificial intelligence engines. They are not so good in straightforward calculation. That's a flaw that I noticed. LC0 can win Alpha0. Yes, I think so too. I think uh, the time, uh, yeah, we can, we can ask Google to check it, I guess. You need CPU for Stockfish and GPU for, um, if you want a decent one, for, for artificial, for neural network engines. All right. So, and now only one pawn for exchange, but white is dominating. I ju white just need to hide the king, and that's exactly what, what Stockfish is doing. The king is running away. The king is running away. Not yet. Now it is. Queen goes to b5, king a3, and queen to c6. It seems that black queen returned. Black took the pawn on a5, took the pawn on h2. So where's white's compensation? Komodo is actually playing its spelling with k. Uh, it is playing, but uh, I don't think it won a single game yet. Uh, it is playing, but it's, it used to be really good. Yes, it won one, two games, but 
uh, it has like 50% score. No, minus one, it has minus one score. You can go to, I'm gonna drop the link uh, to check what's, what's going on here. That's the link. Uh, that is a link that you can use to check this current tournament. Komodo is also participating, but I'm not a fan of Komodo. First of all, it's not a free engine. <laughs> LC0 and Stockfish are free. And secondly, they are just, just better. Um, so queen c6, queen e5 check, rook g7. Now I looked at this position. Bishop goes to e6, so now h5 is hanging. Queen to e8. And then king, just king goes to b3. And then I looked at this position. Stockfish already calculated till the end and it says I'm crushing here. And I was like, why are white crushing? I don't see what white can do here. Like what can white do in this position? That's the wrong question I was asking myself. What can white do? It's actually what can black do is the question needs to be. White cannot do much. The e pawn is not going anywhere. And otherwise white cannot do much. The problem is very unusual, weird looking Zugzwang. Check it out. What moves can black do in this position except moving pawns? Moving pawns, uh, those moves would... Uh, you run out of those moves in time. So let's see. King h7 loses to bishop f5. The queen is lost. The rook is pinned so it cannot move. Uh, the pawn on h5 would be lost. What about the queen? Well, the queen has to guard the h5 pawn. Otherwise, white takes it and com comes back. But if black goes queen g6, covering the pawn, there's a check from that part of the board. Rook g8 leads to a lost uh, pawn ending. King h7, bishop f5, loses the queen. So it's very unusual domination where black doesn't... Black basically runs out of moves. And that's exactly what happened in this game. Queen e7, yeah, queen e7, I take on here, I come back, and now I have a pawn that I can push. And you still cannot really move your pieces. Just, just push it. Just push to g6 and that should decide. So that's it. So that was it. Black went b5, king c2, b4. White says, thank you for past pawn. Thank you, I'm going forward. Black goes, I take my, yeah, thank you for the pawn. Queen f8, I just push the pawn. I just, now I move the bishop to, to prepare c7, queen moves, king d3, I'm not sure about that move. I think anything was winning here, king e2, bishop e6, a2, bishop a2, white is completely dominating and promoting. And after checking d2, queen d7, the game ended because, hold on a second, I thought it was very easy, white, ah, okay, for example, bishop to, to d5, queen c7, Queen e8 check, king h7, queen h5 checkmate. That should have been the end of the game, I suppose. So, fascinating, fascinating win by Stockfish, I would say. First give up material, the, uh, two exchanges, then take it back, get extra material, then give up the a5 pawn, the h2 pawn for domination, and then black runs out of moves and loses. First of all, that's a great game, just, just based on that. But what I wanted to, uh, after queen e7, I think Ellie can draw. You'll, I'll show you the evaluation of Stockfish and you would have time to reconsider. So now I'm gonna uh, open my browser. There you go. So that is the game. You can see uh, this game book uh, here. So this is the game that they have played. By the way, time control 90 minutes plus 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So this is a classic time control. And check out the number of uh, uh, like 26 billion. Oh my goodness. 26. No, not 26. The speed is 130. What is that? 130 million notes per second. And almost 30 billion position notes, not positions, uh, considered. Well, uh, Ellie Stein has a different number because that's a neural network engine. They, they are better because they, in a way, they calculate less and evaluate better. So let's just go. Till the, so Stockfish's evaluation is quite optimistic, so they both agree that white is doing well. They disagree on the, they disagree on the degree. Takes, takes. You can see the evaluations, right? My face is not covering anything. No, it's fine. So Stockfish, already, here there were some, I don't know, there were some bugs, I guess. This is evaluation of Stockfish 1.6, that's still fine. Suddenly 0.4. I'm not sure what it didn't like. F6 is the only move. Now after capture, capture is the only move. After check, king g7, 
King G7 was the best line according to Stockfish. And after Queen E5, the valuation is uh, much higher again. And now 8.1, 8.5. I don't know why. Maybe Stockfish was, I do not know. It was going through its first line and improving the valuation. So, but the position I had in mind was this. Again, 0 0.2. Where did it get 0 0.2? I have no clue. 1.7, 1.3. The difference in evaluation was shocking here. Again, some zeros from Stockfish. I have no clue where it got zeros because black played the first line of the engine. Now after King G1, black played A5, which was the good move again. And now the evaluation is rising again. And now that's it. Here, Stockfish already figured all this line giving up the H2 pawn. That was the first line of the engine. And uh, check out what happens next. The evaluation keep rising, so Stockfish found the idea of giving up, giving up the pawn. The evaluation with every move is rising a little bit. Plus 3 already, 0 0.9 from Alice time. Bishop f5, 3.3, only moves for black. Three so the evaluation is rising and Alice time has no clue. So, and uh, check this one out. I'm gonna go to the most ridiculous number, so it's plus 4. And uh, neural network still pay attention to this one. Can you see this number on the bottom left screen, on the bottom left part of my screen? So when two engines are playing, they get some advice from other engines. I don't know what crystal is, but I do know what LC0 is. And that is LC0 evaluation of this position. And Alistine also has similar evaluation. Stockfish already says I am killing this one. And one question, engines about playing automatically or human play? I do not understand your question. So I'm going to move a little bit forward. So evaluation of LC0 is still 0 0.4. Alice time 0 0.8. Evaluation of Stockfish is already more than 4 because it understands that black is running out of moves. LC0 still gives 0 0.5 where Stockfish already gives 97% of a win. Stock LC0 still 0 0.5. Plus 10, okay, I'm gonna wait for, where is the 100? I wanna see. Okay, Stockfish gives 100% already. 100%, it basically calculated everything. I win in all the lines. Human played its moves. No, 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 it's engines automatically playing according to its algorithm. Uh, well, Stockfish provided by developers, LC0, I don't know. <laughs> uh, time management provided by the developers in LC0, but the moves are decided by neural network. All right, so 100% from Stockfish, 100%, 14% from LC0, 48% of, I don't know what is going on with LC0. The position is completely winning, still nothing, still nothing, it's unbelievable. Both engines, the Alistine here, LC0 here, I do not know what is this, what is that? 0 0.1 from LC0. This is ridiculous. So this is what I wanted to show you. Stockfish is way better at calculating in open positions with straightforward lines. And all the best neural network engines, 19 minutes plus 10 seconds, exactly how little. So it's, okay, maybe in 10 seconds, but still, uh, Stockfish was considering uh, billions of positions. And Alistine, well, they do perform uh, less uh, under time pressure. They, they are playing poorly, poorlier. LC0 killed position, yeah. So 0 0.1, I do not know what it is. When would they real? Oh, finally, they both, oh, oopsie, I lost. Of course you did. The C pawn is promoting. And now they all agree that this is 100% win. So this is the example that I wanted to show you. First of all, brilliant play by Stockfish. Showed all the ideas, typical sacrifices, typical maneuvers, typical plans. Great. So Stockfish is way better in such positions. When there are no open files, LC0 is much better than Stockfish. Or if it's not, uh, uh, if it's not, uh, completely open position, LC0 with pawn chains in the center, LC0 is just way better. So I'm gonna quickly show you, okay, actually that whole game deserves a whole other stream to be honest, but I planned it to show it now, so is Stockfish better than Alpha Zero? I don't know how to check it. 
I do not know. Uh, LC0 is stronger, I believe, and it's uh, almost equal to stockfish. So I guess, I guess, yes, the answer is, uh, I think the answer is yes. All right. So, okay, I'm going to quickly show you the game, maybe 15 more minutes. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would highly appreciate it. It costs nothing to you and it, mm, it means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to close the browser for a second. And I'm going to show you the game that I had in mind. Another one. This one. I'm going to use the training mode. Okay. So this game was shows how brilliant, how brilliant neural network engines could be. So first of all, this game was played with very short time control, really short. So I'm actually quite surprised why, why LC0 managed to win this game. Stockfish are stronger than Alpha Zero, that beats Stockfish 8 in the papers. Yeah, I think so too. Hello, hi, Mr. Rio. Thank you for joining. Okay, so this is a blitz game. So it's not even close to the quality as the one that I showed you right now. Uh, let me see. Yes, they were playing only the first, only the first two moves. That's it. They were on their own starting from this position. That's it. So check it out what else is it. This is, you can see this position on highest level these days. Highest level. I'm going to show you the Karuana, Vashila Graf, Duda, Carlsen, Nepomneshi, Nakamura. Everybody's playing this position. And I've seen it recently in one game, actually Magnus Napo played very much this one. And did Magnus? Yes. And Magnus also played E4 in this position. So that's, that's in the line that you want to try next time, next time you play. So bishop to b4 and d3 played by lc0, d6 by black. So apparently Nepo... Okay, this game was played in March and he knew it a long time ago. a3 was played. And it's exactly what Nepo is doing. I'm guessing he's using lc0. I think everybody does. So, and now rook b8 and novelty by stockfish. So what is the idea of this line? Generally speaking, you shouldn't have uh, doubled pawns in your position. That's usually not the best. Uh, I'm going to make the board a little bigger. Ah, no. Not. Why is it cutting off the bottom of the board? I did not do that. Okay, hopefully you can see the position. So white has two bishops and um, a little bit more space because white has two pawns in the center and black has only one. But that's not a very big deal, I would say. Uh, so black should be fine in this position. One human will play in the same way LC0 and Alpha 0. We can actually learn a lot from LC0. How can I use LC0 to analyze? Well, you should go to forums, LC0 forums. I actually, I rent it. I don't, uh, I don't use it. You have to have a very powerful uh, video card to, so that it runs... Uh, uh, at least close to the stockfish performance. Um, you're welcome to go to Discord, I guess, and ask some questions, but uh, I do not have the answer for you. So white has two bishops and a little bit more space, uh, oh, decent amount of space, but doubled pawns. And black has no weak pieces. Rook b8, g3, castle a4, knight a5. So I'm gonna quickly explain all the moves because the game is fantastic. So bishop development, castle, Knight h4. If white has to choose one plan in this position, it's only one pawn, high legendary Kasparov. The only plan white can possibly do in this position is f4. That's it. d4 loses the pawn and f4 is the only thing white can think of in this position. So that's it. Knight h4 with idea f4. Bishop develop the bishop. Knight goes to f5 and because f4 capture would be unpleasant. Knight f5, bishop e6, and finally f4. Queen d7, g4. So white is better on the king side now because of these pawns, and white is playing there. f6, h3, slight improvement. Knight b3, rook to a2, knight back to c5, a draw offer, I'm guessing, from Stockfish. 
What about queen c2? Uh, I don't know where, at which moment you're referring queen c2, Mr. Rio. I, I'm pretty sure there are multiple choices on every move. So I do not have the answer to that question. I'm going to minimize this one. Oh, this should be better for you. Okay, so uh, rook to f2. I do not know why that move is needed. Bishop f8, knight back to g3. Aha, uh -huh. knight back to g3. White is preparing king's Indian attack with f5. Black uses um, the tactical trick to win material. So black gave up two pieces and took rook and two pawns. So supposedly black won some material. However, if you have rooks, you need open files as air. And black doesn't have any open file whatsoever. So maybe black should have tried to take and put at least one rook on e8. But um, it's easy to give recommendations like that. So black improves the knight, white improves the bishop. Black improves the queen, white moves the queen to c2 to protect the pawn. Knight to c5, bishop to b5 with a tempo, and finally f5. So what do you need to do if you have two pieces against rook and pawn or rook and two pawns? Do not let files to get open. Check it out how flawlessly it was played by LC0. Well, note that it was played with very short time control very short time control so uh, these decisions half a second increment what's that half a second increment is uh, is nothing basically but they were running on pretty decent machines so yeah they uh, we still are way behind in that kind of um, play against them no engines today 3700 yeah humans 2800 I think 1,000 years, I think humans 5,000, engine 10,000, I do not know. Looking in the future is really an unthankful activity, I would say, because there is so much going on, we cannot even predict what's going to happen a week from now or months from now. And so let's go ahead and see how not open files for black. a6, bishop moves back, queen c6. The pawn is hanging, white is protecting the pawn on a4, black goes b5, please, please give me an open file. Nope, not today. Black goes knight a4, attacking the pawn, white protects it. Black goes queen c5, pinning the rook, white unpins. Black goes c6, preparing d5, I'm guessing. White goes g5, that was the plan all along. So white is slowly doing its plan. d5, queen to c1, oh, that's a tricky one. Queen to c1, maybe bishop goes here, maybe capture, maybe queen goes there. This is a difficult move to explain. Queen c4, bishop to e2, kicking the queen back. h4, white is playing there. Black can open the file, but white would put an enormous knight on e4. That would be a huge problem for black. Black goes through d8, finally at least one file will get open. White goes through f1, I do not know what this move is all about. Queen e7, bishop to e3, slight improvement of the bishop. Rook to c8, bishop to f2, so that the queen is ready to join the attack. Queen c7, and now it's time for h5. So black didn't manage to create any counterplay whatsoever, and white is pushing there. F takes g. Count how many pawns does black have here. Rook and three pawns already for two pieces. That's already significant material advantage. Check it out. h6. You can take another pawn. G takes H. Rook and four pawns against two bishops. Rook and four pawns and still zero open files. So why on earth did white give up those two pawns? Number one reason, really powerful passed pawn. Second reason, places for all the pieces. Knight is ready to jump, the bishop is ready to jump, the pawn on H6 is weak. Now the queen goes closer to the king side. Queen takes A5, pawn number five. Black has all eight pawns in the position. White has only three left. Rook and five pawns, that's ten. That is ten. And white has only two bishops, which is like barely seven. And white is winning. Bishop to g4. Just putting a bishop to a nice square, preparing f6. Queen c7. f6 comes. The rook is hanging. Rook d8, taking on f6. Why would that be bad? Yeah, maybe that was a decent try. If takes, it's takes. 
Probably e5, f6, there's weaknesses here. e takes d, e5 is hanging. I'm guessing uh, the uh, white would just get to this king because that knight is completely out of the board. So black moves the rook, white moves the bishop to g1. That's a nasty move. Just bring the rook into the game. Knight b2, queen e2 with a tempo, knight back to a4, queen f3, slightly better than on e3. 3 versus 8, that's exactly the number. Bishop goes to h5, that's the reason to give up all those uh, pawns. Room for all the pieces, weak pawn here, powerful passer here. Pawn goes to f7, rook d6, bishop comes back. Now it's knight's turn, so bishop did his job to push the pawn, now it's knight coming. Takes 2 pawns for 8 pawns, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Black has all 8 pawns. White has only two pawns left, but that pawn on f7 is just killing. Rook d5, e5 was hanging. Rook to f6 penetrating. The queen is lost. White has only one pawn, but white has queen and uh, two bishops for, for, for the two rooks, which is completely winning. And there's not much to Zero pawns against eight pawns, but the queen is on the board and white has way more material. Bishop to h2 takes. First capture! First pawn is being captured, move 59. This is ridiculous. I actually checked this game briefly, but I didn't expect that I would enjoy it so much. This is like a horde mode. I never played a horde, but uh, the, I know the, the rules and yeah, that does look like one. Except against the horde you are in trouble, but here white is just taking and that's it. So the game did continue, but uh, the rest is... Uh, okay, the rest is a weird conversion by by Lila I would say but uh, slowly white is taking all the pawns um, and actually the game ah it's not a checkmate the game ended like this so brilliant brilliant play by LC0 even with very short time control I enjoyed this game extraordinary do not open files for your opponent's rocks create weak squares and pass pawns for your minor pieces and just why just moved all the pieces slowly to the king side great win and maybe the last thing that i wanted to show you today was uh, how the evaluation of stockfish we just have seen so let me um, do this yes so in the game that we previously checked uh, LC0 and uh, Ellie Stein were completely wrong about the evaluation of this position even though it looks pretty straightforward to me pretty straightforward White is dominating, uh, there are C pawn is coming. From human point of view, it looks understandably winning for white, in my opinion. However, even with a lot of time on their clock, neural network engines failed to understand this one. So, and I'm gonna show you the reverse side of the same coin. So, where stockfish sucks, apologies, my language. So the, here in the first game, the stockfish was just perfect. In this game, stockfish is just not even close. So this, you can feel that this is players of two different strengths are playing. So uh, let's just pay attention to the evaluations. So far, the fight is about equal. I'm gonna show to the critical moment where stockfish decided to take material on d3 right now. So, so far, LC0 was expecting the capture, exactly what I just mentioned to you. Oh, wow, okay. So, hopefully I do play <laughs> closer to LC0's understanding with time. Uh, AI is wrong and AI is awesome at the same time. So, you need to be careful when you're using it. So, yes, I, I told you do, uh, previously, I didn't even know that that was LC0's suggestion. Uh, it did make sense to capture on F4, and you can see the suggestion here. That is the line that was LC0 was uh, suggesting, that was considering. The moment Stockfish takes on D3, Queen takes D3, Bishop here, Queen moves, takes, takes. Oh, the evaluation dropped, actually. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought the evaluation would rise. Now, I'm going to go to the... And now, yes, again, I told you here, wow, okay, LC0's best move was e takes f4. You can see it in this position right here. e takes f4, bishop takes f4, and moves the knight to, to open a file and uh, make the king safer. But Stockfish didn't do it. Stockfish played knight b7, 
bishop f1 again lc0 was uh, expecting uh, oh lc0 needed to play f5 i don't know why it didn't and uh, bishop b5 and now after f5 significant jump in the evaluation 0 0.3 and stockfish still think it's good so now the evaluation i think it was rising all the time slowly wait a minute wait a minute plus one from lila 0 0.2 from stockfish Hold on, there was one moment where the difference was extraordinary. Yes, so now almost a full pawn. Yes, this one. 1 1.8 LC0 gives huge advantage for white. And Stockfish says it's zeros. And Stockfish plays its all best moves at the... Okay, depth 29. So it was didn't have that much time. Maybe that's why zeros. But the, this, the LC0 already understand that's it. The game is over for black. And fi okay, now Stockfish also agrees with it. But LC0 knew in advance because of the past pawn and because of the uh, great, awesome, all white minor pieces are great. The queen is good. The rook is great. The pawn is going forward. So that is what I wanted to show you. So a small summary of what we just discussed goes like this, I would say. In open positions, where you have to calculate far ahead some very sharp lines, Stockfish is better. This is a great example where LC0 together with Ali Stein were wrong. So in open positions, Stockfish is really good. However, if there are no open files, in a position like this, LC0 takes it basically to the next level. It understands the closed positions way better. That's why it is always winning in French against Stockfish or any uh, and other engines. What is not fair? What is not justice, engineer, engineer? What what don't you like? Is this some... That means IA is wrong? Ah, I mean justice, yeah. AI is great and it's bad. Stockfish is great and it's bad at the same time. So you have to be wise when... When do you want to listen? So you can learn from Stockfish in open, sharp, dynamic positions. And you can learn from neural networks, LC0 is specifically, in closed positions. So that's my, my understanding of, of engines so far. All right. Please do not forget to, to like this video. And uh, I'm going to wrap up the stream unless you have, unless I missed a question. Did you ask any questions? Let me scroll a little bit. How can you use LC0 to analyze? I answered that. I think this was a testing game from TCC Premier Division. So Stockfish was playing only with 10 minutes on the clock against LC0's 90 minutes. Really? Hold on a second. I missed that, that comment. Which game? Stockfish against LC0, this one? No, this was the... Uh, what's this? Yeah, it says 90 plus 10. I have no reason to to not trust it. And also I downloaded the... Um, the I can check the time it was spending. Uh, ah, no, sorry. We are talking about this game. So you're saying that LC0 had a lot of time on the clock? Ah, it could be the case. May, I'm guessing this is the time... Hold on, you can see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Is this the time spent per move? Five minutes against seven seconds. Ah, okay, that indeed would, be, would not be fair. That indeed would not be fair. If that's, if that's the time spent per move, that it is just not fair. Two seconds, six minutes. Ah, okay. Okay, then it's not fair. I agree. Then, then it is not fair. Thank you, Antonios. Antonio, for pointing that out. Okay, let's see. No more questions. Also, the LC0 won Stockfish at only 10% of time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes it more clear. Thank you for pointing that. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. Thank you. Thank you everyone for, for watching. Uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe and that bell button to get notifications when I'm st I still don't have a streaming schedule. If you like what I see, tell your friends. Like it. Oh, okay. Engineer, engineer has a question. How old was I when I started playing chess? Four years old. I was four and a half maybe. Less than five. 
that was the number. It was almost 30 years ago. Forgot. And I'm still, I still love chess, as you hopefully can see from, from this video. Okay. Thank you so much for, uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, take care. If you, I'm going to promote my course one more time. I did a course on tactics for club and beginner level players. Uh, you can check in the description. Soon I'll post another course about uh, openings at the same platform. You would, you'll, you'll be welcome to check it as well. Uh, thank you. Take care and bye-bye.